Zone at 91.3 presents The B-Side. Yeah, Dan Gunn, man. Hey, Dylan, that didn't sound as enthusiastic as normal. Come on. Bye, oh, Dan! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason, how's it going? Oh, fantastic, Dan. Oh, How are you? I'm, oh, I'm really good, Jason. Thanks for asking. Okay, yeah, okay. I will <laughs> come at both of you like a spider monkey, I'll tell you. Yeah, nice of you to show up this week. That's good. Some oh, thanks, stuff. thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> My life isn't just studio yeah, you, time. You were uh, remortgaging your house or yeah, something right. trivial last yeah. week. So. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Just, no. just shelter. <laughs> that's, that's what he wrote to me in a text message. I was like, damn it, gun. He's yeah. like, sorry for providing my family with a home. <laughs> <laughs> I guess okay. I'm the problem. Yeah. yeah. All right, fair enough. Uh, what's happening today on the B-side, my friend? I got, I, I, I'm going to bring this up on my phone so I can read it at some point, but I got the most amazing press release. Um, just I, I read sentences I never thought I would read before. Okay, cool. uh, Which was, was, was awesome. But uh, do you guys remember the movie The Hunt for Red October? Yes. I remember the movie. I haven't seen the whole thing. It's though. the one where Sean Connery plays a Russian with a Scottish accent. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> right. A leather glove. And I, I, I love, I just love, I, for some reason, I just love submarine movies. I, I'm claustrophobic, largely. Like, I, I don't like small spaces. But that movie r- really stuck with me. And so about five years ago, I get this, this uh, note from the Navy base. Hey, Dan, uh, we'd love for you to come and see what we do in the Navy. Like, oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You know, one check, you know, where that the source of this email, make yeah. sure it's not okay. from a Nigerian prince. And uh, so I say, yeah. And I ended up going on the Algonquin for a couple of days, you know, the, 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 uh, the ship. The, okay. Uh, yep. And so, uh, but I didn't know what I was signing up for. Like I've heard of these things before where they'll take people from the business community out and they'll like tour them around a bit. I like went out on the Algonquin. I got to drive it. I got to shoot guns, like multiple guns, like like handguns, shotguns, machine guns, and then 50 caliber deck guns with like the brass uh, things flying over your shoulder. So at one point I'm like, I'm a video game player. And so you put like a big powerful <laughs> gun in my hand yeah. and you start throwing flares into the Pacific Ocean and asking me to shoot them. And I'm preserving ammo. I'm like, da 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 like just picking it off. And this, this, this French sailor <laughs> leans into my ear and he's like, Dan, I don't even get to do this. Have some fun. So I just like, <laughs> bum, 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 full ramble. Like I'm shaking, the guns moving all yeah, around yeah. the deck. And this guy, all I could hear behind me was like an evil villain. Just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, he's laughing. <laughs> he's having a good time. Later on that night, we hunted uh, some of the uh, the submarines in the Navy. Wow. So we were on the deck. You were there actual subs in the there water? There were subs in the water. And they were crazy. coming up, shooting out flares in the middle of the night. The seas were rough. It what? was crazy. It was like. Can you do everybody in this studio a favor, and the next time you get invited to yes, that, invite we come. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So, so, and we flew around in helicopters. It was, it was amazing. And, I, and I, let me say to any the Navy, Canadian Navy, amazing. They take a lot of crud from people like oh, rowboats and BB guns. I saw guns and weapons and defense mechanisms and protocols and skills on that boat that, you know, they're, they're yeah. not messing around. No. They know what they're doing, and, and, you know, I'm thankful that they're out there, and I'm really thankful I got that opportunity. So yesterday, I get this note from a local tech company, Atlas Electronique Canada, and here's the, the subject line. Atlas Electronique and Magellan Aerospace signed a memorandum of understanding today, sealing intent to collaborate on the development of the rocket motor and warhead sections of the Sea Spider anti-torpedo torpedo. What? That is the most amazing opening paragraph ever. One, yep. <laughs> it's called the Sea Spider. Two, anti-torpedo torpedo. Yeah. And- <laughs> You know, so back to back to Hunt for Red October. You might remember, like you know, they're they're in this underwater battle, right? And Sean Connery is like outmaneuvering the other Russian sub captain and launching countermeasures and, and and taking like hard right, like down rudder right, fifteen degrees. Well, now that when they do like Hunt for Orange November, they're gonna have to like work in the anti sea spider, anti torpedo torpedo is like one of the things that they they, they have in there. So what is that? What are you talking about? Is so, this just a torpedo that can take out a torpedo that's coming your way? Yeah. So you, if you're in a submarine, somebody shoots a torpedo at you. That's a problem. If you're in a ship and somebody shoots a torpedo at you, that's a problem. Now, yeah. they're, what they're building is a torpedo. You launch at that torpedo, and it takes it out before it can get you. Don't you want to not have press releases about your anti-torpedo torpedo so then you can surprise the torpedo shooter with your anti-torpedo? I wouldn't be surprised if there's a whole anti-torpedo torpedo industry out there that we don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that this is a big secret, right? I imagine everybody has been working on the anti-torpedo torpedo. So what you're telling me is there's a tech company here in town that's building an anti-torpedo torpedo. That's correct. Amazing. And it's called the Sea Spider. I love it. That's the end of the B-side.
That's a I, strong B side. I, I, I have it. nothing to say other than like torpedo. I like, <laughs> want to be part of the conversation. All right. Well, if people want to know more about this, where do they go? They can go uh, uh, to the the blog at uh, alwayscheckthebside.com. Amazing. Thanks so much, Dan. Thanks, Dan.